I have a question for both my Twitch chat as well as my YouTube comments for whenever this comes out on YouTube, which will be on Wednesday. I want the community to tell me what their opinion would be on moving Hacker Replay to once every two weeks, and a normal Siege video would take its place every other Wednesday. The reason why I say that is I feel like Hacker Replay has kind of lost its, I don't know, like the what made it super interesting at the beginning, because we aren't getting crazy new cheats all the time now. We used to be getting them every week, and now it's like kind of just stuck doing the same stuff. So I feel like people I just love decks, bro. might not mind if I take a bit of a like every other week break, because then that would have like, you know, a bit more refreshing stuff. But like, I'm, I'm fine to do it every week. I just think it's not, I feel like it's not getting as interesting as it once was. So it's still pulling in views. So it would kind of suck if I don't do it every week, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll get more views if I do it every other week. Because I, I have a list of six matches here that we're going to go through. And... I didn't really have too, too many submissions to choose from, so I kind of had to choose what I could. And the first one is probably hacks that we've already seen before, so I feel like it's not even going to be that interesting to clickbait. What if Hacker Replay and Guess Your Rank gets alternated every week? We don't have many Guess Your Rank submissions, so if people want to submit a bunch of Guess Your Rank submissions um, for next Wednesday, do that now. All right, in this match, we have Skill Issue, who was accusing Tachanka and Mozzie. So TF Dev 25011 and I'm bad sorry. I don't know if you notice, it's three seconds into the round and not a single one of them have moved. The Chanka's mid walk right now. But he's standing perfectly still. All four of them are. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that X skins is not queued with them and the rest of them are queued together, because Seaman Demon <laughs> is another person, and then just a bunch of numbers. We know they're cheating, obviously. This is supposed to be one of the obvious ones. Walling. I just want to see what the crazy thing is that they do. Because they told me what they do on attack. But I don't know what they do on defense. He said, these are insane hacks I've never seen before. That's pretty par for the course. It's also par for the course for your average varsity gaming charm user. If you sub to my Twitch channel today and get my charm, you can easily land shots like that and you won't even be hacking. So make sure to sub to my Twitch channel today with Twitch Prime to get it for free. Oh, he's got like... He's got like the perfect uh, hip fire shots. Like, or just aim bot, I guess, essentially. Now he's reloading infinitely. I don't know what he does with Tachanka. Hackers are always obvious now. Uh, honestly, I haven't really come across many obvious cheaters other than one. We were trying to remember how many we've seen this season, and I've only seen one. Hold on, he hit him like three times there. It didn't look like he actually hit him. Uh, so he might have like an aim assist type cheat where he doesn't actually have to hit them and he gets the shots for, or the damage for free. Yeah, like it doesn't look like he's actually hitting them, right? Hold on. Like there was that flick, but I don't think he actually is hitting them. I think he has just aim assist cheats. I don't think they're gonna do anything absolutely insane on defense. I think the big thing's gonna come on attack, but I assume Mozzie has well obviously walls, probably some level of aim assist type cheat. So it never looks like he actually hits his target. Even there, it didn't look like he hit it. Okay, we're going to skip to attack. This is what they were reported for. Not the drone. It's always the drone is... Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, his drone is literally a helicopter. There's supposed to be a death box if it goes outside. That's what Coastline has. Interesting. I've never seen a drone just straight up fly. I don't... What am I even looking at there? 
Apparently they're able to Amaru or use Amaru in a way you're not supposed to. Okay. So we went through the barricade, no clipping. We've seen that before though. I'm just gonna walk in and kill everyone. Like hip kill box. Kind of new. Hmm. Slightly different. So he's got a kill box. He can armoru through walls. And it uses... I don't know if you can tell here. It actually uses the grapple animation a little bit. Or at least I think it does. I swear I see it like... Yeah. Because it goes like that. I feel like Amr is going to go in quarantine. Actually, no. Because cheats, they never quarantine stuff for cheats. But they quarantine stuff for exploits. But it's not an exploit. It's a cheat. Looks like they got a no clip. Under wraps. If you see an Amr on the enemy team, they're cheating. Just assume that at all times. In this match, we have Baden. Who's accusing Toby1 Kenobi. This was going to be my backup clickbait match, because I'm pretty sure he said... This could be the one where he's like, I don't know if he actually is cheating or not. I said if he isn't cheating, then he's doing a real... Or if he is cheating, he's doing a really good job of hiding it and throwing rounds. And I was going to make a whole video being like... Um, how cheaters get away with it for so long or whatever. And talk about it, but we'll see. Aiming at the floor. Roy viewer. Man, if he is a cheater, his movement is terrible. Okay. The fuck is this language? De la Tego, Graza, whatever. What language is that? Curious on your stance on ad blockers for YouTube. Been making a lot of talk last couple of months in the tech side of YouTube, but more on the if someone sub slash donates, do you still care if the person ad blocks your videos? I would rather someone sub to my Twitch channel than turn off their ad blocker. That's my overall opinion. Because the amount of money you'll make me with one sub is more than watching all my videos with ads. But, turning on ad blocker for everything and just completely depriving us of all ad revenue also is, you know, shitty. I run, or I have YouTube Premium, so I don't have to worry about ad blocker. I run ad blocker on every other website, but on YouTube, if I didn't have YouTube Premium, I would uh, not have an ad blocker because content creators need money to survive and. A lot of people always are like, oh, what happened to my favorite YouTuber? Why did they stop making videos? Probably because they didn't have enough money because people all run ad blockers and then it fucked them. A lot of people are quitting YouTube more and more because they just can't afford to do it because it's not making them enough money. That happens when everyone runs ad blockers. I'm not saying that's the only issue. There's a lot more issues at hand, but it is one of the issues. All right, so this guy's still moving like a bot. And aiming like a bot, his recoil control has been horrendous. But it's not like he's walking in knowing where people are. He's just he still looks lost. And so is the enemy team. So he gets an ace after that first round. I I don't think, I know I was talking a lot so I wasn't paying attention for the full thing, but I don't think there was anything suspicious there. The man looked like he was completely lost and walking around and people were just walking into him. This is how Roy got 30 kills in one match. These are the enemies he faced. 
He has no idea that Amaru just went through a goo right in front of him down the hallway. He's like looking downstairs and lost. Guess his rank, yeah. This is actually a, a preview to guess your rank from for next week. Dude, he looks so lost. I don't think he's cheating. We're gonna have to keep watching because it's an eight round match. Who knows, maybe they toggle on at some point, but I don't think they're cheating. Okay, on, atta on attack, his movement already seems way better. I don't know about you guys, but he's not like crouched, slow walking around. He's sprinting around. Okay, maybe not amazing, but like at least he's moving, you know? He's breaching a wall that is not sight. Or is it sight? I actually don't know. No, it's not. Okay. He used all of his breaches on soft walls. Wait, and then who shot that? Wait, did someone shoot it or did it break on the open wall? Hold on. I think it broke because that wall is already open, so it landed and there was nothing there, so it just fell. Which means that he wasted his breach on a wall that... And then he has... Uh, he has breaching turret? I didn't even notice this. Oh my god. Bro. I... I cannot even... I honestly don't even know... What would be more clickbaity? They accuse this brand new player of cheating. We've already done something similar to that, but I could do that again. Or the uh, Amaru can now go through walls. Probably Amaru can now go through walls, because I can make that sound like it's something different than it actually is. Dude. I don't think there's any way this guy is cheating. Don't use... Okay, I was gonna say, don't use your gadget here again. Dude, I can't even get proper alignment. Okay, oh, oh, I don't think he knows what he wants to look at yet. That wasn't anything, right? No. So far, if the rest of the match plays out like what we've seen so far, if he actually is cheating, this is the best person I have ever seen at hiding their cheats. Heard the docs to himself and got scared. He's getting spotted by a Valk camera. He's looking at that sign like it's a Valk camera. What does this say? It says grats, which usually means thank you. Which I feel like... Oh, he, he reported the Maverick. It's like, thanks for your report. Maverick has been reported or what? I don't know. He did report this person. and He just also reported this person, I guess. Let's watch. Let's see what happens from Maverick's perspective. Okay... Definitely didn't get reported for that. That was a nice little flick, sure. But definitely not reported for that, right?
You got reported for that? In the file, that the parts that I did read, he did mention that overall, he's like, he just finds it weird that the guy seems so bad, but somehow managed to get a bunch of kills. He's just like, it seems like he's toggling on and off to make it look not suspicious. When, from my perspective right now, honestly, this guy just looks terrible. But the enemy team also looks bad. It would not surprise me if they just randomly get a bunch of kills. Like, I don't think there's been a single time where he's like looked somewhere where someone was. He's always looking the wrong way, has no idea what he's doing, and then gets gunned down. I mean, Marius was shuffling. He moved his legs there. Because, uh, we go back. He's, like, moving around here. That makes noise. He just shuffled back and forth. And they made crouching make even more noise than before. So it's like, you're probably going to hear that. Now he now he's acting just like he was on defense, just walking around crouched everywhere. He missed. Oh my god. He almost flicked onto that album. He, <laughs> he had to look at it first and like, is this actually a Prisma? <laughs> he almost shot his teammate. Oh my god. The movement, the aim. This hurts my soul. My enemies are never like this in bronze. When I played uh, on like Copper Diamond, the enemies were always like quick peeking, fucking spinning around and 360ing me like bro, th these are not the enemies I faced. How do they lose this? They are in a 2v5. Technically 2v4 because Thunderbird is down. How do they lose this? He thinks someone's inside because his teammate shot the barricade. Or that was... Wait, what? Thunderbird died because they impacted themselves? We gotta go back. Did they get rezzed? Oh no. <laughs> he accidentally impacted himself. I think he was trying to put down a, a Kona station. Because he still has one in his pocket. Yeah, he has one in his pocket. He tried to put one down and he just blew himself up. Oh no. Oh god. That motherfucker. Oh. Uh. Well, now we know how they lost it. Oh my god. Okay, not cheating. Like, I'm gonna look at his stats anyways, but definitely not cheating. This person is like, yep. I was gonna say, copper with a negative KD. Bro, they've been playing this game for so long and they're still, like, in bronze. It's okay, Toby One Kenobi, you'll make it one day. Okay, we got TTV Rocky Poolin, who is accusing Jelly Dot Beans. Honestly, after that last match, I really do hope that this is just like a blatantly obvious cheater. Look at this little war going on. Three people holding one window, because no one's pushing anywhere else. <laughs> I don't think he's cheating, man. Oh. Oh no, I didn't pay attention to all of that. What happened here? Oh no, he missed so much. He's panicking. He is panicking so hard because he's not sure where to look. He's afraid he's going to get pushed from the other side. Looked at his teammate. 
He's getting shot from above and he's so confused. Dude, he is lost. What did he do? What did he do that got him reported? There must be something. I'm waiting. He's gonna start... He's gonna fucking spin so fast he'll take off like a helicopter. AC-1... Or not AC-130. Chopper gunner in the air. Exploding everyone on the map. Or an AC-130. That'd also be cool. This is where silencers are beneficial, in the low ranks, where people are so confused. They get shot at, and they fucking spin around, they're like, I don't know what's happening right now. And they just die. Let's say, why is he not shooting Fuse? Didn't realize that was the Chonka. He was shooting Gridlock's dead body. He thought it was another person. Oh, that was a good play. He's like, oh shit, that's open. The person who submitted is on a drone that is next to a mute jammer. Get off the drone so I can hear again, please. Thank you. Don't think he gets this last kill because I think Buck dies to someone upstairs. Yeah. In this week's title for Hacker Replay, the Siege community is the saltiest community out there. See, I don't even- I don't blame people for submitting these when matches. Was season for ranked? Thank you for two months, Connor. I'll respond to that after if I remember. So I don't blame the community for making accusations like this that make absolutely no sense. Do you want to know why? Because we have been playing this game for so long, and Ubisoft has done so little about cheating, that just by being better than someone, it's so easy for people to assume that you're just cheating. Because let's be honest here, if someone beats you in a gunfight, there's like a 50% chance that they probably are cheating. And I'm not exaggerating. That is just how bad the cheater problem is. So someone dies and they're like, hmm, got a report just to be safe. And I use, I've used this as an example before, but I basically call this the priest example. There was a time where when we would play with priest, Every single person that would kill him, he would report them all. And when I asked why, he said, Well, if they killed me, you know, they could be cheating. So he's like, so I might as well just report everyone. And then Ubisoft can sort it out. I don't think that's the play, but I can understand the rationale. Because like, yeah, you know, they killed me. It's probably cheating. Thank you for the nine months of the dink. Can I tell Drew he's cool shit? No. Uh, but favorite season for Ranked was probably... What was a really good season for Ranked? Um, I want to say it's probably sometime in year four. I feel like Burnt Horizon was a pretty good season for Ranked. I just love decks, bro. Thanks for sub E caliber. Ember Rise and afterwards was like pretty downhill because Ember Rise, even though my charm came out that season, the Ember, I, Ember Rise uniforms ruined ranked. Everyone was running them because they wanted every advantage possible and it fucking sucked. Spectacular gameplay right here. He's holding first close left even though three people are by sight and one person's in Terrace. Oh, now someone's coming on his left. He's gonna get shot. Okay, good reaction time. He looked away from the Flores, looks back, gets the kill, let's go. That guy lines up from as well. Get is he gonna get the ace? Cap can trap to get the ace. Oh no. Yeah. I I might call it here. I'm gonna look at his stats. I don't think he's cheating. Stats for jelly beans. 1.57 KD in ranked. I think this is ranked. Uh, barely played before. Oh shit, <laughs> I played a long time ago. Uh, then took a three year break. Holy. Came back, played barely anything at all. Now played a little bit. Not cheating. Alright, next match. We have Chalet. Blind, blind Yule, who is accusing. Dupe one two three four. Hold on. Is he cheating already?
AFK. <clears throat> he was AFK on drone. No one was droning that out, but he knew someone was there. And he kept trying to aim at them, but it was like aiming through a tree. He's waiting for the guy coming from Wine Cellar. He didn't check that corner. He knows that he's on the right. Convenient. He knew that he was there. That's why he peeked the way he did. He's not checking anything on his right here, because he knows it's all clear. This guy's definitely cheating. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's cheating. Man, how does he only have a 1.4 KD in plot? How has he died that many times? The dude's blatantly walling. He is cheating, we all know that, but he is a bad cheater, holy shit. Never played with any other cheaters, but I, I don't need to watch anymore. He was cheating, 100%. Cheaters drop KD on purpose to not look sus. Yeah, but what you're describing as someone who doesn't also just walk around tracking people through walls and pre-firing them. Because if you walk around and do that, people are going to report you anyways, and it doesn't matter if your KD isn't high. They're still going to be like, well, you tracked people through walls, you're banned. That just makes no sense. I guess he won't get stat banned, but he could definitely go higher KD than what he is and not get stat banned. And with him walking around doing that, more people are going to report him, which means he's going to get investigated sooner, which means that... Hiding his stats is not going to do anything. I just love Dex, bro. Alright. Next match. In this match, we have Bike, who is accusing... I'm going to assume it's Aqua. He submitted it saying A-C-Q-A. I'm going to assume it's Aqua. What emblem is on my shirt? It's Maverick. How many cheaters so far? Uh, we had two matches with cheaters, two without. Maybe we'll have a third one here. Could be good reaction time. He shot before he could even really see him. Saw him that we'll have to go. We'll have to go look at more rounds. So he's cheating. trying so hard to make himself look a little bit more legitimate than he is. He's died to the same person twice. Who wins? The cheater does. Unfortunate. Alright. Third cheater. I think we went through two matches in the first 50 minutes, and now we've gone through three more matches in the next 20 minutes, so record times here. And then last match, we have Border. In this match, we have TMM125, who is accusing Edge Runners. They have Bandit Shotgun, they must be playing legitimately. Only, as the kids would say, the truest of Gs run bandit shotgun. Not even I do, because I'm not a, a true G, as the kids would say. What is he doing here? I just love Dex, bro. I wonder if he's gonna have the shotgun cheat where 
you can just shoot someone from a million miles away. It's basically like a boss G. Okay, seems like he's following him through the wall there. He definitely has the shotgun sheet. That ba that was barely on him, and he one shot him from that far away. How was he that bad? Just in case, what if it was a lucky one shot? We'll watch more. That drone is just watching him. No recoil control? Recoil cheats? the very least, it seems like he has walls. He has recoil cheats, oh my god. No, actually, that first shot might have hit his head. Hard to tell with match replay sometimes, but... He definitely has no recoil control. He might have recoil cheats. Now he's just sitting here doing nothing. kills is the end with. He only has six kills at the end of it? Bro, what? You gotta pump those numbers up. He must be cheating. I assume those are capital I's. Could be L's. Edge runners underscore. Oh, yeah, it is. 2.4 ish KD and casual. Holy shit. That win rate. 11 abandons, though. I don't think there's any way that they're not cheating. They're trying to get their account to level 50. <clears throat> Alright. Show us edge runners what you're capable of. He's just running through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has like blatant sheets now. Well, I'm happy we watched the last round just to make sure. So that's four cheaters today. Man, I thought we were going to have so many submissions of people who just, like, weren't cheating. We got those two, and then everyone else was just cheating. What a day. What a day. Us, this part will be just for Twitch chat. I'll, I'll hopefully edit it out of the video, but or maybe I'll include it anyways, just to remind people to comment. But one thing I mentioned at the beginning is that I'm thinking of doing Hacker Replay every other week. Because I feel like it's kind of lost its, you know, luster. Uh, because... You know, we've seen a lot of the cheats. We've seen people cheating every single week. I feel like making it every other week might make it a bit more special. So chat if you want to let me know what you think. If you like that idea, if you don't like that idea. Um, someone has suggested, like, putting guess your ranks on every other week. I wouldn't do every other week. I'd probably do, like, hacker replay, guess your rank. Hacker replay, random video. Hacker replay, guess your rank. Hacker replay, random video. You know, something like that. And then guess your rank would become a monthly thing, maybe. But let me know what you guys think. And a reminder for the YouTube comments to let me know what they think about making Hacker Replay every other week. Um, but good matches today. I'm, I'm happy we at least got some innocent matches. And they were funny to watch, those low rank players. Uh, yeah, 
That's it for Hacker Replay this week.